Hello headphone user, today we'll show you how to convert any wired headphones to detachable cable type headphones at home. In today's video I will share tips and tricks so you can step by step convert any headphones to a removable cable yourself. This is common problem when wired headphones break and no longer have sound on one side making them unusable. As a result you often have to buy new headphones or repair the old cable. After the modification, when the removable cable breaks, all you have to do is simply connect a new replacement cable, which costs just a few dollars. You can easily choose cables by purpose, long, short, with or without a mic on cable. This can be a common and annoying problem as cables tend to break down regularly. Unfortunately, it has happened in the past and will likely happen in the future. To make this to do it yourself mod, you need to buy a 3.5mm socket that will fit in your headphone housing, where the current cable enters. The link to the sockets in the video description. You will also need to ask your grandmother for a soldering tool kit. Today's repair and mod is for the Superlux HD 669 headphones, for which the manufacturer has not chosen the best type of detachable cable type. As you can see, the current cable is broken. The first task when you want to make a detachable cable mod is to open the headphone housing, where the cable connects. In this case the screw is hidden under the decorative cover. Unscrew this screw. Here are all the wires. In this case there is not much space to install a new socket, but in most headphones the situation will be better. The next step is to find the socket that fits best there. It looks like the black socket might fit by blending the contacts. Once a suitable socket has been found, cut the old cable but leave the wires long enough to be soldered to the new socket. Then move the wires so that they don't interfere with the socket. You can also glue the wires. Close the housing and drill a hole for the new socket. In my case, this is an 8mm diameter drill. Then unscrew the housing and check that the socket fits inside. If something doesn't fit, cut off the excess plastic. In my case it looks like it will fit very well. The hardest part will be to ensure that the socket contact do not make short circuit. The next step is to use a multimeter to find out the socket pinouts, which contact is for the left, right and ground. Then thin the socket contacts and wires. This will make the soldering process easier and improve the quality of the solder. Solder the wires to the socket, but check which wire is left. Plus, which the common ground wire for both speakers and which wire is the right plus. The wiring colors may vary between different headphones, so it's always best to check. Once the wires are soldered, check that the socket fits and does not create a short circuit. Apply super glue where the socket body touches the headphone body. Insert the socket, then apply glue over the top of the socket housing and the headphone housing so the headphone cover part sticks better. Put the plastic cap back on top and screw it tightly. Don't forget to put the decorative cover back on and that's it. It looks better than the new stock headphones. I really like it and my grandmother said I have gold hands. What do you think? As always, I would be glad for a like on this video. If you have any questions or suggestions, feel free to post them below this video. Good luck and thanks for watching.